In this video, I'm going to show you how to create stars in space, all inside Blender. To start off, I'm going to delete everything by pressing A, then X to delete. Then I'm going to open up the shader editor and I'm going to change from object to world by clicking this button here and selecting world. Then I'm going to jump into rendered view by either clicking Z and selecting rendered view or by coming over to the viewport shading and selecting rendered view. Nice. Next, I'm going to set the background to black. Then I'm going to add a Voroni texture by pressing shift A. Click on search and type in Voroni. Select Voroni texture. And I'm going to add a color ramp. So press shift A, search, type in color ramp and select color ramp. I'm going to plug the distance into the factor of the color ramp and put the color into the background like so. Now in the color ramp, I'm going to flip the black and white around like so to create these white circles on a black background. Then on the Voroni texture, I'm going to increase the scale to 115. Next, to add some depth to this star field, I'm going to select the texture and color ramp, duplicate it by pressing Shift D and moving it over here. Then I'm going to add a mix shader. So press Shift A, click on search, type in mix and select the mix, not the mix shader below. Then change the data type to color like so. Now I'm going to plug both color ramps into the mix shader. Top one going into A and bottom going into B. Then I'm going to change the scale of the duplicated Voroni texture to 45 and change the color ramp sliders a bit. Yep, that's cool. And lastly, so we have different sizes of stars throughout our scene. I'm going to duplicate the texture and color ramp one more time. Select, Shift D and place over here. And I'm going to add another mix shader. This time I'm going to duplicate this mix shader here by selecting and pressing Shift D. Nice. I'm going to plug this mix shader into the B of this mix shader and then put the result into the background color. Then I'm going to plug the color of the last duplicated color ramp into the A factor of the mix shader and I'm going to set the scale of the last duplicated Voroni texture to 22. So now we have different sizes of stars to add depth for our scene and obviously you have ultra control of how you want your stars to look by playing around with the scale and color ramp of each node setup.